This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Netflix. Well, hello there, you. What's going on? It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to What's the Apps. And I'm pretty sure we all know that iOS 5, ooh, magical pixie dust and stuff, is coming really, really soon later on this year sometime and one of the more talked about features is iMessaging or iMessenger whatever it's called it's basically Apple's version of BBM or exclusive messaging my screen just turned off but that's fine just just bear with me I I should turn that back on give me a second bam the background's back you kind of have to have it back there that's how you make this thing look legit man you know so iMessaging Apple's version of BBM BBM exclusive messaging I personally don't get it I don't like it but then a lot of people do so so yeah, so if you want to experience, you know, iMessaging or iMessenger now, there's actually an application that will allow you to do that. So for this episode of What's the Apps, we're going to be taking a look at TextD. It's got a smiley face icon and everything. Wonderful! TextD is a super slick messaging application for iOS. That means you can load it onto your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. And heck, if you have all three, you can load it onto all three. It basically functions like the up-and-coming iMessage application in iOS 5. Sort of like a hybrid between your standard IM application and text messaging. And you know what? It was actually made by the guys who created Tweety, which is now the official Twitter application. So you you know, this is good stuff right here. TextD is really, really simple to set up. Once you install the application, all you to do is create a new account or sign into an existing one. There's no real way to log out, so I had to uninstall the application and log in again. This is the shot you guys are seeing right now. Inconvenient, but you know, it looks good on screen. After playing around with the settings and even going to their website, I found out that you can't really log out, which is weird. The only thing you can do is uninstall the application and reinstall it. Like I said, weird, right? I mean, psh. <laughs> Right? Texty is unique in that you can message people two different ways, through their email or through their mobile number. If they have a Texty account, your message will pop up right there. If they don't and you chose to Texty their email, they will see it in their inbox and yes, they can reply back to you. I tested this stuff so you know, this is legit right here. As I mentioned earlier, you can also Texty phone numbers but it's a US feature only and because I live in Canada, I can't really test it out no matter what, it's like not allowed kind of thing, but I did read comments and feedback and it seems to be working pretty okay. Like any good messaging application, Texty has push notifications with sound, so that when you're around people, you can give off the impression that you're really, really popular. All of your friends' info, including their avatars, all come from your contacts app. Super handy. I love it when things all sync together. It's so magical. And if you thought that was magical, you can even FaceTime with your friends right from the application. I'd tap it right now, but I don't want to show my personal info. And did I just say I'd tap it? Yes, I did. Dirty. The coolest part about Texty, in my opinion at least, would be the photo sharing feature. It's awesome. It's very well integrated and it works seamlessly. I remember one time at a convo with just pure pictures. Granted, it was a little bit more creative than just taking turns snapping pics of my face, but you know what? Never mind. Snapping pics of my face is pretty fantastic. The options are pretty minimal, but practical. I really love how you can change the font size and heck, pink bubble color? Right on. You can even tweak how you want to be notified when you get pinged. Because the app is free, having ads is kind of expected. They're pretty out of the way, and you don't even see them half the time. If you're one of those, oh, I hate ads kind of people, you can pay two bucks and have an ad-free version. Personally, I don't mind them. The only downside I see about Texty, besides not living in the US, would be that you can't block people. So let's, I don't, I'm not, I don't know if this still happens, but let's pretend you have this hater right here who likes to spam you because he has nothing better to do and he, and he likes being annoying. There, you can't really do anything about it. But other than that, Texty is just fine and dandy. Speaking of dandies, I'ma give a shout out to Netflix. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV shows and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right onto your TV with your PS3, Xbox 360, or Nintendo Wii console. To get your free trial membership, just go to netflix.com slash buffalo, that's right, netflix.com slash buffalo, and sign up today. Back to the review. Overall, Texty is awesome. I, I can't experience all of the features because I live in Canada, but it's totally fine because it's so seamlessly integrated and it works so well. And you know what? The darn thing is free, so I, I definitely can't complain. Five out of five. Easily. Smiley face. So if you want to experience iOS 5's oh so magical iMessaging or iMessenger today, definitely check out Texty. I mean, it's free. Goodness. Gracious. Fluh. 
This is John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. My screen turned off again, but that's fine. The video has ended, so it's, it's all good. I'll catch you guys next time. Later. I mean, wow. Well, hello there, you. What's going <laughs>